Our protocol demonstrates how to use a bench scale acoustic wave separator for the primary separation of CHO cells from harvested culture fluid containing a model monoclonal antibody. Acoustic wave separation provides some advantages compared to traditional primary clarification methods like centrifugation and filtration, such as small footprint, low contamination risk, and reduced filter fouling risk. Since acoustic wave separation provides a continuous flow of cell-free material for subsequent filtration and chromatography processes, there is potential for its application in continuous bioprocessing. To prepare the acoustic wave separator, connect the turbidity cables to their respective ports and connect the chamber power BNC cables to the back of the acoustic wave separator system. Insert the turbidity probes into the turbidity meter and the thermometer housing and tighten the screws. Connect the feed tubing to the input of the feed turbidity port via the feed pump. And connect the Y tubing from the output of the feed turbidity port to the inlet ports of the acoustophoretic chamber. Connect the stage 1 tubing from the waste port of the acoustophoretic chamber to a cell collection vessel via the stage 1 pump and connect the tubing from the permeate port of the acoustophoretic chamber to the input of probe 1 turbidity port. Then, connect the harvest tubing from out of the probe 1 turbidity port to a product collection vessel. To prime the system with harvested cell culture fluid, turn on the acoustic wave separator and open the associated software.